Good afternoon. This is Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley with a COVID-19 update for Thursday, April 2nd. Currently, we have 24 positive cases in Flagler County and sadly, one person has died. Florida currently has over 8,000 cases. On Wednesday afternoon, Governor DeSantis issued a Safer at Home executive order for the state of Florida. This order is for all persons in the state of Florida and it orders that interactions outside of the home be made only for essential services or essential activities like going to a doctor. A list of essential services has been outlined by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the Florida Department of Emergency Management and can be found at the websites on your screen. This order does not prohibit individuals from working from home. In fact, it encourages it. Businesses are also allowed to provide delivery, carry out, or curbside service outside of the business for orders placed online or by phone. Essential activities allowed during the executive order include attending religious services, outdoor exercise, so long as it is not in a public beach or park or trail that is closed in Flagler County. Other essential activities include caring for pets and acting as a caregiver for someone else. But remember, groups of more than 10 people are not allowed and social distancing of six feet is still required. This means that you can still go for a run outside, walk your dog, or ride your bike as long as you do so in small groups and while practicing social distancing. I cannot stress enough that social activities are not essential and groups of more than 10 people are not permitted to congregate. This executive order goes into effect at midnight tonight and stays in effect until April 30th, 2020. Violations of this governor's order is a second degree misdemeanor punishable by a fine of up to $500 and or up to a 60 day stay in the Green Roof Inn, also known as the county jail. We don't want to make a health emergency a crime because of selfish defiance of the governor's order. Please don't make us. Palm Coast Mayor Melissa Holland echoed Governor DeSantis' order by issuing a mandatory shelter in place order effective Friday, April 3rd for the city of Palm Coast. For more information, visit palmcoastgov.com. Executive orders previously put in place regarding bars, restaurants, fitness centers, vacation rentals, and gyms remain in effect. Effective tonight at 10 p.m., the Hammock Dunes Bridge will suspend tolls until further notice. But remember, while the bridge will be free to cross, you are supposed to only go out for essential needs. I would encourage you to ask yourself this question before you leave your house. Is this trip essential? If the answer is no, stay home. Try to visit the grocery store just once a week. If you have a doctor's appointment, go to the appointment, then go straight home. If a store is open, it is for essential needs only. This is not the time to browse the aisles. These orders are in place to save lives. Continue to practice social distancing when you must go out and then go straight home. If you have questions, you can call the Flagler County COVID-19 call center between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. at 386-313-4200. For those with COVID-19 symptoms, there are multiple options for you to get tested. First, call your regular health care provider. If you do not have one, contact an urgent care center or the Florida Department of Health in Flagler County. We also have two state, federal, regional COVID-19 drive-through testing sites, both less than 90 minutes away, one in Jacksonville and one in Orlando. Jacksonville's location is at the TIAA Bank Field. Before going, please visit the website you see on your screen to review the status and requirements of the testing site. The Orlando location is at the Orange County Convention Center. Before going, please visit the website you see on your screen to review the status and requirements of that testing site. If you are sick, remain at home unless seeking medical care. Cover coughs and sneezes. Wear a face mask around others 
and disinfect touch services daily. I believe that the governor is doing his part to help stop the spread of the virus. Now we ask you to do your part, as the event will not peak in Florida until May 3rd. Stay home and help flatten the curve and save a life. It might just be your life or a loved one's you are saving. Remember, this is a silent and invisible enemy that can kill you. Follow us on social media or visit flaglersheriff.com coronavirus or download the Flagler County Sheriff's app in the App Store or Google Play 